I almost bit my face off at the suggestion of a grown man marrying a 12-year-old. So, House of the Dragoon, um, episode 2. Um, things are progressing the way that I think they're probably going to progress. Okay, so this wasn't as exciting as the first episode. But I suppose that this is all about, you know, building the story. And I think it's similar to season one where it's very careful. And I see chess moves, chess moves, chess moves, chess moves. Um, and I can see, I just wish I just knew the name of the of the characters and so forth, you know. Um, I think the really big thing here was, and I think this is when I just, I just, I was like, okay, whoa, what the heck. I don't care whether you've got a planet or a, or a, a freaking spaceship or a rocket launcher pointed to my head. I am not marrying a 12-year-old. That's not happening. That fine. Puts me in Lucifer's basement or whatever. I am not marrying a 12-year-old. So when, again, I don't know what the character name is, but the, I think it's um, the name of the actor is Toussaint, a guy with the dreadlocks, you know, when he says, you know, because um, he's, he's Valerian. And I think it's Valerian, and also they've got like um, Targaryen blood. If you and it's about it's not about whether you love the wife or not. Marriage is political. It's not about love. It's not about emotions. It's about political. You marry my daughter. This helps to maintain the strength of the realm, and shows that you have this guy as an ally because this guy has the strongest fleet. So it made sense. But at the same time, guys, I'm sorry. Even if it makes sense from a political point of view, you want me to marry a twelve year old? And then she basically when she said that, oh no, don't worry, like um I can only have sex with you when I'm 14. I'm like, okay, no, okay, stop, stop, like stop. Like this, this is just, I mean, it's I was I I felt like threw him up. It was disgusting. But a boy Riss iPhones, man. Um I think it's a high tower, the hand to the king. This is what he was doing in the first episode. Which is a look, check this out. I know you're my daughter and everything, but you're gonna have to say what's up. <laughs> you're gonna have to say what's up to this guy because if I can have kids and so forth that are of my blood, that gives me connection to the throne. And everybody wants power. So what he wanted was like, man, if he falls in love with this chick, which is his daughter, the Han's daughter, bro, we can be, we can see what's up. We can see what's up and then we can live. Um, and obviously you got your boy, Damon, man, who's um, just, bro, the guy's a loose cannon. He's going to be crazy. And then you obviously have um, the lead lady you know um coming with her dragon and trying to say what's up so i think what we're seeing here really again I, I, i've not read the books i don't know anything's happening so please don't post any spoilers but i just think what we're having is so many guys are trying to grab that throne and things are just going to just tumble out of control you know um because now you now have um a guy with dreadlocks saying to damon that look is, is, is it lord Chalice? Is it Lord Chalice or Lelis? I think I think it's Lord Chalice. Guy with the dreadlocks said, look, I need it to, to pop off. Because he cannot see that already. Damon and his brother, they're not really on the same page. So if he can ally with Damon to somehow coerce him into trying to get his foot into that throne, whoo, that is a very, very, very strong and powerful um, alliance that lies over them. And so yeah, man, I mean, it'd be intriguing to see how this all unfolds. I mean, for me, I'll just keep it real with you. I am, I'm really, ex I mean, I do, everybody is acting really well. I think that acting across the board is quality, is filmed really well. I don't know, like, that's a Matt Smith dude, you know, who plays Damon. That character, you can see, is already a freaking powder cake. And I think that he's bringing so much heat. I don't know who else is really bringing that same heat as him, really, you know. And because I think even in Game of, Game of Thrones, the first season, obviously you had, um... Your main stack dude, Rob Stark, you had Jon Snow, you had so many guys who, like, we know you had Little Finger, so many guys that were so interesting characters, Tyrion, um, even Joffrey, as, as crazy as he was. So I think that there were, that there were a lot more interesting characters than the other one, but I do feel that the acting is top notch between all of them. So my thing though is, see, again, I don't know, so please don't spoil it for me. So I don't think there's ever been a woman who's been on the throne, which is the, the discussion that the, I think the Lord Chalice, Dreadlock, guy's wifey was saying to the main girl which is a look 
You think they're going to allow you to sit on the throne? Women don't sit on the freaking throne. That ain't freaking happening here. So, um, like, yeah, they chose it as an heir just to begin with. But when push comes to shove, you ain't get on that freaking throne. So, yeah, man, it will be intriguing to see how this all ends up, man. But I will reiterate and say again, I almost bit my face off at the suggestion of a grown man marrying a 12-year-old. That is highest key, revolting, disgusting. I'll see you next week.